fight! Hey guys, this is Versatile from VSC Power, now host on Project Phoenix Media. In today's video game tutorial, I'm going to show you how to rip your PlayStation 1 game to your PC's or laptop hard drive, and then from there I'll show you how to burn it to like a CDR, for example. So how does this work? Go to the more info section, and we're going to use two freeware programs. One program is called Magic Disk. It's basically a virtual CD slash DVD ROM um, emulator program that mounts these virtual ISOs, or ISOs virtually, excuse me. So go ahead, download and install that for your particular operating system. So I did it for Windows 7 x86 slash x64. Another thing you want to do is use Image Burn. You don't have to, but that's what I like to use. It's a freeware um, CD, DVD, image burning software tool. Download it and install it. So go ahead, insert your game into your computer. Right now I'm using a retail copy of Twisted Metal 3 as an example. Now go ahead to your bottom right hand corner of your desktop here and you should have something called a magic ISO. Right click it and go to make CD DVD image. Okay great. Go ahead and select your DVD drive here. Here's my ASUS drive. Go to output file. So let's go ahead and save it to a folder. So I have a folder already designated on my computer called temp. I'm going to call this Twisted Metal 3 and say save. Now what you want to do is change the output format. So from experience, I just know that the majority of these PlayStation 1 games are going to be the bin image file, which is a bin and a queue file. So select that option. Make sure it says make CD image and click OK. And now we're in the process of ripping the disk to this bin queue file format. And afterwards, if you want to stop and use it for other purposes like your game consoles, let's say you have a modded PS1 or a PS2 or a PS3 and you want to do USB game playing, you can do that. Well, maybe on the PS2 and the PS3, not so much on the PS1. Or maybe you have a Nintendo Wii or maybe you have like an Android tablet or you want to do um, PlayStation 1 emulation on your computer. Then you don't have to you don't have to take the next step and burn it to a disc. But if for whatever reason you want to burn it to a disc so you have an easier way of playing it on your modded console, whatever that might be, or other game purposes, you can certainly do that. So it's going to take a while for this program to rip my game. It's going to take about 10 minutes, something like that. So what I will do is I will pause the video. Once we're done ripping the game, I will unpause the video and show you how to burn it to a blank disc if that is something that you want to do. But you don't have to. It just really depends on what your application is is going to be. So with that said, let's jump straight into the next portion of this video tutorial. Let's do this. All right, so we're back. We have successfully made the CD DVD image, so let's press OK. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and eject your PlayStation 1 game. So here's my Twisted Metal 3. I'm ejecting it. And then I'm going to put in a blank disk. I don't have a CDR today, but I'm going to use the CDRW only for example purposes. Do not use CDRWs inside your modded console if that's what you're going to do because those game consoles don't read rewritable discs that well and it's not recommended for your laser anyways. So let's go ahead, let's start up Image Burn. And here it is. Here's the main menu. We're going to do Write Image File to Disk. Go ahead, click on this folder icon, navigate to your folder, select the queue file, press Open. Here's going to have some information about your disk here. Like I said, I'm using a CDRW. What you want to use is a CD-R if you want to burn it. And what you want to do for write speed, I always tell users to do um, half of the maximum burn speed of your disk. So for example, if your maximum speed of your CDR is like 48x, I recommend burning at 24x. Don't burn too slow, don't burn too fast, just burn in the middle. But for this particular CDRW, you only have a 10x, so that's what I'm going to do. All this stuff is fine, leave it as default. Click on this icon here, and it will go ahead and proceed to burn the image from your computer to your blank disk, like your CDR for example. Once you're done, go ahead, pop it into your modded console, whatever that may be, and have a lot of good times. Or maybe you just want to make a backup copy of your original PlayStation 1 game, which is also a good use of this application as well. So hopefully this tutorial has helped you out a little bit here. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye. <laughs>